Such a beast is our Earthmate. Glass Frog The abdominal skin of such frogs is as transparent as glass. The internal viscera are visible through its skin, heart, gastrointestinal tract, liver, and even aches. Believe me that some people seeing such a frog for the first time are in limbo for some time. They might think these frogs are from another planet where all living creatures are glass-like. By the way, they inhabit the trees, so be careful. Dumbo Octopus Just look at this tiny creature. At its clever eyes and appearance, it seems to have plotted something. It seems really cute, but don't be fooled by that. Perhaps it knows something more to be hidden 4.5 miles underwater. Stargazer Fish Look at this fish. It buries itself in sand to ambush prey unexpectedly, so its name doesn't suit it completely. You might think that the meteorite brought it to Earth long ago. Such aliens are closer to it than Earth inhabitants. By the way, it can also cause electric shocks, so you'd better not touch it. Coconut Crab A coconut crab is a species of hermit crab. Having seen such an arthropod, a faint-hearted person might have been scared to death. Just look how giant it is, with hard armor and terrifying eyes. It resembles the unfinished form of alien life on Earth, and they have to feed on fruits, nuts, and seeds to hide their alien origin. Ocean Sunfish This creature differs much from all other bony fish, and it weighs about 1 ton, or 2,000 pounds. But there is a question, where is the back part of it? I am serious. The whale, the shark, and the dolphin are normal sea creatures. But what about the ocean sunfish? We have tracked you down. Go back to your planet. By the way, females of the species can produce up to 300 million eggs at a time. It is going to conquer the entire ocean someday. Perhaps I was a bit overreacting today, but I personally have arrived to the Earth looking like this. Again, Bubble here. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new interesting videos. See you soon! Hi there, Unearth! The alien biome is something probably waiting for us in the future. Each meteorite coming to Earth might bring some new non-Earth form of life, and some of them are likely to be on Earth already, trying to hide and pretend to be ordinary animals. Bubble here, and these are 10 animals that are surely not of Earth origin. Let's go! The Markor So not to shock you, I will start with something simple, for example, the Markor. The name is thought to be derived from the Persian word mar, meaning snake, which is interpreted as a reference to its corkscrewing horns, reminding us of coiling snakes. This species differs much from other goats. According to folklore, the markor has the ability to kill a snake, and its flesh neutralizes any snake poison. The Big Skate At first glance, it seems to be an ordinary creature, but if you see it from the other side, it's a bit horrifying. Some people think it's cute, but then I would recommend them to watch the film called Life. I suppose the director of this film was surely inspired by the big skate while creating the character of the Martian monster. The Harp Sponge There is something like a comb, harp, or lyre. Any sane person would call it like that, but he would be wrong because this creature is alive and called the Harp Sponge. It was discovered in the year 2012 and until that moment nobody saw it before. When a small fish is caught by velcro-like hooks and spines, it doesn't have any chance to escape. And these small balls are full of spermatophores that can fertilize other harp sponges. Sarcastic Fringehead Do you remember the film Predator, whose main character appalled us with its tricks, manners, tactics, and honor? The way this fish opens its mouth inspired the film's creators to create such a monster. The sarcastic fringe head was known by its aggressive behavior that we might really think that these creatures are the predator's close relatives. Tongue-eating louse Are you ready to see something special? The parasite enters fish through the gills and then attaches itself to the fish's tongue. 
The Lao severs the blood vessels in the fish's tongue, causing the tongue to fall off and becomes the fish's new tongue. It's a complete, utter bedlam. Only imagine if a mite severed and replaced your tongue. How would you feel yourself seeing your new tongue in the mirror?